I didn't. Woo! Sports! So what's SE all about? SE is just a really cool option that allows someone to talk to someone else about a deeply held belief and allow that conversation to take place without either side feeling defensive or argumentative or feeling like you're part of like a national debate. It is one of the most conversational ways to talk about really meaningful things to either one or both parties at the same time and allow both people to critically assess how they got to their conclusions. I've had conversations with people that really strongly, for example, believe in a God and I don't. But they, he asked me things like, hey, uh, Tyrone, uh, why don't, you, or what would it take for you to believe in a God? And I would say, oh, I just need some reasonable evidence. That sounds pretty good. I, I think that'd be pretty good for me. I, you give me a reasonable uh, piece of evidence, I'd be able to look at it and I'd be like, oh, okay, well then, you know, then God exists. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. That's some reasonable evidence right there. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for giving that to me. That's all I needed. And the response I got back from that was, that doesn't answer my question. And I'm like, I thought it did. <laughs> I thought, it, that, thought that's the answer. When you, you ask me a question, right? It's like, so the, the, they said, okay, let me, let, me, let me just rephrase the question. And so I said, okay, fine, that's totally cool. And they said, what would it take for you to believe in a God? And I said, reasonable evidence of some sort would be nice. And they said, that doesn't answer my question. Why'd I hold back on that? That doesn't answer my question. Ah! I, so we were, so obviously the conversation was sort of in a rough place. Um, we were kind of in a loop. The problem was they didn't know the person I was talking to didn't know of a good way to continue the conversation that allowed me to think about the answer that I gave. And I think both atheists, theists alike can benefit from good ways to ask questions that are better than, that doesn't answer my question. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about better alternatives to, that doesn't answer my question. Okay, so, uh, Here's a really good w thing to say in place of that. What do you mean by that? Oh, so what do you mean by that? Don't say it like that. Don't say it like a butt. Don't say it like a, don't say it like a donkey butt. Don't say it like, what do you mean by that? No, no one likes that. First of all, let's, tone is a very big important thing. Body language is so, so important. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is how you would say it. Oh, so what do you mean by that? Keep it casual, keep it cool, nice and cool. Oh, what do you mean by that? That's it. So we could do like a quick little rehearsal then. How about this? Hey, so what evidence would it take for you to believe in a God? Oh, I would just, you know, take some reasonable evidence. That, that'd be great. What do you mean by that? Oh, you well, it seems like most people tend to believe in God based on things that don't seem to be particularly uh, reliable as far as a means to get to a conclusion. I think most common one that I've heard of from doing talks with people have been like faith. And I feel like faith, as, as far as I'm aware of the definition or that people use, tends to be based on believing and trust without necessarily having the evidence to support it. And I can't imagine a more important conclusion to reach than whether or not a God exists. And all I'm asking for is a reliable way to come to that conclusion. If there's things that I could test, if there's things that I could measure, if there's things that we can come in corroboration with, if we work together to find a really cool method to come to that conclusion, I'm all for it. But until then, I'm not saying that a God doesn't exist. I'm just saying that I don't know. And it's mostly due to the fact that I don't have a reliable way to get to that conclusion. That doesn't answer my Okay, let's review. I'm thinking that, uh, um, how do I put this gently? That that doesn't answer my question isn't necessarily a great way to continue a conversation, but is a thing that is commonly said in the hopes that a conversation is continued. <laughs> and that's a problem. So what we can do 
to improve the way that we talk to people is try to find questions and statements that open up the doors of the conversation rather than shut them down. Um, I found like the, one of the best ways to have an SE dialogue with someone is to always ask questions that open up the person that you're talking to rather than shut them down. Um, and the best way of doing that is to ask questions that help them to think about the method that arrives them at their conclusion. And when you say things like, hey, that doesn't answer my question, maybe it doesn't work as well as, what do you mean by that? Because then at least you give the opportunity to have more material to understand and work with with your partner and uh, have a really cool conversation at the end of the day. And that's what it's all about, but you are free to experiment with whatever you want. And that's what's cool about this process. I wanna hear what your feedback is. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a good method? What do you think we can do better? I know we can work together to figure out a cool way about talking to anyone about anything. And I believe you can too. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, you wanna talk about sign language for a little bit? Would you guys be interested if we did some sign language breakdowns too? Like some phrases that are common in ASL and break them down. Uh, I noticed that I tend to talk with my hands a lot and I think it'd be a really cool way to show you guys a really cool community. I'm looking forward to showing you guys more stuff with that. Anyway, see you guys later. I'll see you next time. <laughs> and now I messed it up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Look at all you guys. Okay, there's, man, this list just, this is a great list of people over here. We got, uh, Metafact. Hey, that's a new, that's a new one. Uh, who, James Poag, that's awesome. Emerson, holding up, holding up, holding up. You guys are great. Anyway. Thank you so much. And if you want to learn more about street epistemology, check out se-playlist.com or my channel at Let's Chat. If you're watching this video, you're already here. Check that out. Life couldn't be any easier. All right, see you guys. <laughs>